Today I'm joined by Marvel Snap creators Kawa and Binks, and I'm going to get their reactions to Hearthstone Death Knight cards. Thanks for being here, guys. There is a couple things we should know that Hearthstone added that's Death Knight specific. They have a mechanic, a resource actually, that no other class has called corpses. All you really need to know for this is that when a friendly minion dies, you gain a corpse, and then you can use your corpses to make cards work or to make cards more powerful based on how many corpses you have. The second major thing that's specific with Death Knight is that there are runes, which have no gameplay, but they do matter for deck building. They're gonna rate frost cards, blood cards, and then unholy cards, but I have surprises for them after each rune type, so be sure to stick around later into the video for those. I'm gonna start you off here with kind of a, I imagine a pretty easy card, but it, it, I just find it funny. I wanna like show you that this card exists. Okay. What do we uh, What do we think about this card? Born oh. of winner, refresh two mana crystals. So it's just bad old innervate i mean i don't know it seems it seems really good if they can do any miracle type stuff right i mean like any any it all is kind of class dependent on if yeah. they can actually burst you down with stuff like this because it's obviously nuts <laughs> uh yeah i mean like you said i think it's a super it's, it'll be super powerful if you have that cycle like like i don't know how well death knight can can draw i mean it has like the corpse mechanic so if there's some if there's some type of card where it's like dependent on how many corpses you have draw that many cards and then you can do some kind of nutty combos that seems that seems potentially interesting but if death knight is it's, it's hard to judge right because i mean i suppose with all of the different kind of runes there's probably different ways they go so like i don't know like blood blood runes could be like a big death knight the frost could be like a small swarmy death knight so um but overall i mean like 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 the card like this yeah it seems it seems powerful but it's all about like what cards it can it can combine with the laughing makes it seem like it's not a good card no, now but just, i guess you guys are talking so in depth out. about like the i put this first because it's like a card you've all seen before like it's just like they just reprinted it for death knight so it's like it's super easy for you to know how good like it is to talk man because it's the exact same mm. as cards you've seen we're, you, you mean we're, yeah. intel we're intelligent people <laughs> you know right, right, yeah. exactly <laughs> i'm looking forward to how much you guys talk and that's how much we had to talk about a <laughs> fresh two mana spell. <laughs> Chatty Cathy. Alright, next card. Alright, Tessarian. 4 mana 3 3 reborn battle cry and death roll. Deal 2 damage to a random enemy. This is a legendary, okay. I mean, yeah, seems seems decent in my opinion. It doesn't it doesn't blow me away. But um again, against maybe I, I guess this could be technically some sort of good kind of uh a counter to any swarmy decks you know um if they've got a lot of stuff on board in, ge in general it seems good but yeah it doesn't doesn't blow me away what, what do you think so i feel like this card doesn't make enough presence happen right when you play it so it's kind of hard to play when you're behind but it's a mm. really good tempo card like if you if you can just slam this down and you're like already ahead like this thing just that's in a lot of work for you it seems you can play like a card that gives you more health now right it's the Ren renathal yeah Prince, Prince Renathal, yeah. But I feel like it's almost like one of those like super good cards that just isn't like, I guess, as direct enough to fit into a 30 card list. Sure, sure. The Saria looks a lot more average than it actually is. It's currently one of the best cards in Standard's best Death Knight deck. Spend up cool. to three. Okay, four energy, four two, two frost rune. Spend up to three corpses, freeze that many enemy minions. So, okay, so I actually have a question on this. So if they have one enemy minion, will this only spend one corpse? Yep. Okay, that I mean, that's really nice. What is, what is the frost frost thing? What's what's the frost thing? The uh, three energy mage three spell. Energy three mana. Oh, my God. oh that's just, that's just yeah. Them. You keep saying three energy. <laughs> we're so we're three so mana. we're so focused yeah. on we're snap. So snap pilled. They, they, yeah. You're thinking of frost nova. Yeah. Frost, yeah, frost nova. nova. Yeah. So it's yeah, frost yeah. nova on top of the the true silver champion essentially. Yeah. In, in many ways, if you spend three quarters. That, I mean, that seems really good. I feel like yeah. if you're doing a face like a face frost deck, like this is really nice for you because you get eight damage face. You freeze freeze up your opponent for a turn. Give yourself some extra time. I think this would definitely see play in any kind of like face frost spell kind of deck kind of like in a deck that like horn of winter would be in just this extra damage to stack over top yeah i agree from first impressions looking at this it seems like a, a decent card for sure yeah okay well i, I mean i think you <laughs> kind of nailed it it's snowfall guardian on a weapon sure, sure. this Hoping isn't a frost needy. card but it's another weapon that you can put in your deck oh this brings back memories <laughs> This card brings back memories. You can just Hell put yeah. this in your deck, in any Death Knight deck you want. Wow. Because it doesn't require rooms. Dude, this must see zero play. This <laughs> yeah. must see absolutely no play. Our stuff's come a long way. You guys are right. I mean, this mm. card's... But how do you even play this on turn seven, right? Like, how do you yeah. just take your turn seven to play this card? Like, turn seven you're just and getting, you're getting murdered, dude. No, <laughs> you're getting destroyed if you're doing that. Here's, here's this beautiful card. Morrow Manipulator. Six man, or mana. Mana. Let's say mana. Six <laughs> mana. Okay. 
Mayne. Mayne. Oh, yeah, it's Mayne. It's Mayne. Mayne. That's right. So three Frost. So this is like the big payoff for going all in on Frost. Mm -hmm. Spend up to five corpses. Deal two damage to a random enemy for each. Spend up to five corpses. One of the best. So if there's a clear board and you have five corpses, you can just merc 10, 10 to face. Yeah. Clear board and you have five corpses, it's 10 to the down. Yeah, but I feel like it's gonna be so hard to clear off the whole board and then get so. this down. Mm, but it depends, right? Because we've seen some cards that like maybe the frost thing is catered to just like swarm your opponent. So maybe hitting face is better. Maybe like you'd, you'd rather hit face because you've got other frost cards that like I don't know if there's like a if there's burn in the frost deck, but I think that this does not. I just don't think that this this card holds up. Well, you mentioned what if it has burn and stall? What about what about now that you know this card exists? Oh, <laughs> oh, I actually oh, I think I saw somebody play this card. I just saw them say this card is busted. This is this this like okay, so this is what I expect from a three frost rune, right? Like this is what you want from a three frost rune. That's disgusting. <laughs> What is the card that, that used to be? It was um it was a seven energy seven mana fire seven ma portal seven mana <laughs> firelands portal yeah seven seven mana. firelands portal firelands. seven mana mage troll I dealt five damage Fire and summoned so a random firelands <laughs> firelands portal with frost nova stapled together yeah and your five drop doesn't correct. ever it's never a two one it's always a five five. Yeah, it's That's always correct. a five That's five. Correct. That's so solid. Oh this is the my only god! Reason to do three frost for sure. <laughs> it's, it's, it was actually three, yeah, three yeah. frost cards. These are just two of them. So I'll, I'll say this: mirror manipulator. It's okay, but it's not nearly as good as the frost Worm's fury, uh, which is actually it's it's nuts. I mean, it's just very. I feel good. like I don't want to spoil. the other twenty eight cards around this card. <laughs> kind of. Yeah, there's a standard deck that's just this like card is that frost card burn. is crack. Imagine playing running that card in arena, dude. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Well, that's the frost cool. cards I have for you, but I also have some surprises for you. So before we go to blood, okay. <laughs> we're gonna do a little uh, little side trip here. I'm gonna show you, so like, you know when Hearthstone releases cards? Sometimes, mm -hmm. almost always, they release like packages of cards, two or three that go together instead of just like cards. Mm -hmm. They try and make little kind of archetypes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, little archetypes, little mm -hmm. packages. I'm gonna show you some archetypes. You don't have to go into every card. We can talk about it a little bit, but you just have to say if you think the archetype, like one, two or three, any amount of the cards is like seeing play, if it's good. If it's a good package. Okay. We'll start out with this Demon Hunter package. This is very similar to Spell Hunter back in the day. It's like no minion Demon Hunter, Spell Demon Hunter support. So it's all built around the deck and the uh, weapon in the middle. So it lets you play the like no minion spell decks, but it lets you have three minions in your deck. And this weapon turns them into spells so that the other cards that require you have no minions trigger. The old, the, the payoff cards seem bad, but what I feel like the Soul Leader Scythe can do is like tutor for you like if you have like an otk that needs to like tutor like one or two minions it just gives you extra chances to get those minions in your hand because like the discover thing what do you think Kyle? Uh, it's tough to say but I i'm gonna I'm just guess here and say that this deck's actually like better than people thought i guess maybe i'm gonna go for that okay i'm gonna show you four packages and i'll reveal at the end so we'll move on to cool. the druid one here insta good <laughs> as you see armor i'm just gonna say insta good it's the good. Well, the... It's gotta be good. It's gotta be good, yeah. <laughs> Stop <Okay>. snickering. <laughs> <laughs> You're making me doubt myself here, Jordan. No, I'm like no, confident. You're like, no, he's your, wrong. Your was, uh, kind of a neat little uh, like weapon attack. Oh, like, candle shot. Well, candle shot's a card oh, you guys card. know. They just there wasn't mm. really a good third for this package because that's a core card now. It's candle shot, so it's kind of. Mm -hmm. part I love of the candle shot. Play. Oh yeah, I played a lot of candle shot. Um, so the only thing I really I actually know about this is I know that shock spitter got nerfed like in one day. Okay. So well, I, <laughs> I have I have to imagine that this is good, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I figured that might happen, but yeah, okay. We'll go to the fourth one. <laughs> They've tried okay. for the jillionth time to make Discard Warlock. Oh it's my good. gosh. It's all I hear is people time? saying Disco. All I hear is people saying Disco Warlock. I don't know how or what. All I, all I know is people are just complaining. So I see Discard on, yeah. Why does Warlock always get cards like Scourge Supplies? Like know. every freaking <laughs> like year, they get some absurdly broken draw it's three draw card. Three. Like, no mm. one else can do anything like that, and freaking <laughs> warlocks are just handing them out like it's candy. Oh man, this so is so annoying. Soul bar Barrage looks like ridiculously good. Oh my god, <laughs> that card just seems like the like probably one of the best cards in that deck. It's like better Fist of Draxus. Yeah, so now you can just run Fist two, of Draxus. Two fists, Remember that card? Barrage. Oh my god, yeah. Dude, th this must break wild, right? This must break wild. Yeah, it does. It definitely breaks wild for sure. Uh, yeah. So discard warlock. They've they've tried enough times to make it exist in standard. 
and have failed every time, but they finally hit critical mass in one. It's critical mass, yeah. <laughs> I was just gonna say that. So, just, uh, just keep running enough. It's Jesus. really silly. It's to the point in WoW though you can run Cataclysm unironically because like 20 of your cards are beneficial to discard. <laughs> So it's just four mana, clear the board, win the game. <laughs> I expect by the time this video comes out, for something to be nerfed or banned uh, in this package. I kind of expected this might happen. You've seen Twitter. You know that this is broken. Uh, unfortunately, you also saw that Shock Spitter got nerfed in two days. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah. kind of uh, wild. It was so. One thing you don't know is Bran Bronzebeard is in the core set. So this costed two mana with Bran. So you'd like play Candle Shot on one and whatever on three, and you'd attack like six times. And then on turn seven, your Shock Spitters deal seven. The Bran double Shock Spitter dealt. <laughs> do the math. Seven, just 14, 21, 28. Oh to face. The second package with the druid uh, armor is uh, <laughs> a bit. Is it bad? A bit silly. It's not bad. Crypt Keeper and Chitinous Plating are like meh. They're like eh. They're like whatever. You know. Druid has a lot of like free minions when they do stuff already. But a mm -hmm. you just shove that in your like Rhinothal Druid. It's just another way to win the game on the spot. Uh, and there's combos with like Bran and another card you don't know can't, about. Can't you just play? Um, you can't just play Illusion. Whoa, yeah. whoa, whoa! Can you just can you play uh, Snip you Snip? You could. Yeah, you can. So you, you can, can literally snip just snap. play. You can play this eight seven seven. Mm -hmm. You can. Play play the whatever uh the stealth mech yeah violet illusionist and then just play infinity snip snaps yes you can nobody does it because it's worse than what you can do but <laughs> you could do it <laughs> this crazy game and then this demon under one yeah so that that package has not caught on in wild at all all right, back from our little little surprise here. Let's move on to the blood cards. Starting off with a with a banger here, triple uh, triple blood card. But is it good? Let's get it. Give you plus five health. Spend it's just two energy plus ten health for three corpses, and it's permanent health. And blood yeah, it's, probably. It's not it's not heal. Yes, yeah, perm, permanent health. Vampires. Yeah. Oh, this this card's got to be kind of the reason to play full blood, right? It's got to yeah, be. Yeah, this is this is really good. For sure. It's two mana draw and gain. 10 health yeah this is just like an insta slot into, into the blood deck it is mm -hmm. certainly uh a reason to play three blood uh speaking of uh lifestyle you mentioned here's a here's a lifestyle no monster six six main a one blood taunt lifestyle at the end of your turn attack the lowest health enemy enemy it doesn't say minion so i can hit face oh that's sick dude i mean it's, it seems like a like a like a, a a fine card and um, you don't really want to play this i don't i don't feel like i feel like there's better sixes you can play i love it i think it's probably one of the best arena cards too i imagine this this leads to so many turn six concedes in arena <laughs> there's just no way to get back if you're if you're dude if you're on an aggro deck you're behind and they have a no much oh my gosh Speaking of aggro decks, do you think they like this next card? <sighs> oh my! God. If you're just playing aggro and you see you see one blood card come down the opponent, it's gotta be a retreat. Like there's just no <laughs> shot you win, man. You're trying to kill them before this even comes down, though, right? More, <laughs> you know. What I mean? <laughs> so I think that this is good, but I don't know if it's as good as it seems because the the for five five mana for just two immediate damage. I guess the life steal is really nice, but I feel like you can still kind of get snowballed with it. Like if you just get hit in the face again so like let's say minion has three uh power left or three uh what the what the hell you call three it health. three health left hell, of course, <laughs> of course, hell. uh and then it just like you hit it with this you get the two life steal but then it just hits you in the face before you, you get two more again it's kind of like just like net negative the healing that comes from it because they can hit you in the face again i guess it just kind of depends i don't think this is as good as it seems i think it's better or worse than no money i think it's worse than no money mm -hmm. um before i tell you about either of those two cards you might be wondering why we're healing so much life or like mm -hmm. if we even need to heal life. Oh, it was a big payoff card. This is one of those cards that theoretically would give you a reason to want life. If the card's good. Oh my gosh. So it just protects you hell? from taking five health and then you just pay that five health to have it on the board at all times. Yeah, it's you paying health for infinite uh, Tazdingo. Tazdingo, yes. Tazdingo, <laughs> yes. I love this card. I mean, you obviously yeah. throw it in any two blood deck. This one may be a reason to run a two blood deck. I think it's it the seems... best. I think it's the best. Uh, maybe less than Vampire Blood. It seems way better than the other two cards. Right yeah, it. this just seems like such an irritating card to to face because, like, if your opponent destroys it, like, they just know it's gonna be coming back next turn. So, like, you have to expect, right? I'm gonna have to like tank five damage into this specific minion for the rest of the game, pretty much. Obviously, if you're playing one of these cards, you're probably playing all of them. And we, yeah. 
think we've established at this point that aggro hates this archetype or this mm -hmm. specialization. I will say, Blood Boil is significantly better than No Muncher and Deathbringer Sourfang because Interesting. of decks like Pyro Rogue, you know, little little oh, dudes okay. trying to go wide, trying to kill you super fast. You just stabilize so hard and then nothing else matters. Because you heal like 10 and then anything that doesn't die, you can just kill it again. I don't think I've ever played a Blood Boil and then like still died to their board. Sure. No Muncher is like inconstructed. It's just kind of an eh card. So is Infinite Taz Dingoes, right? Like you'll keep throwing them out there because it's just like free stats in play and you have lots of health and life gain, but not like anything to write home about. I, I expect once we get like some more printed cards for cards like No Munch stop seeing as much play, but Blood Boil just destroys any token or aggro. Deck. I'm running I'm running two with No Muncher in my deck though and then just breaking the meta. <laughs> sure. <it's no> <laughs> we haven't even showed you they're intended to be the win con for Blood yet. These are just support cards. <laughs> this is a card. I'm not going to say if it's good or bad, but they intend this to be the win con of Blood. Uh, are you going to show us Sir, Sir Denathrian? <laughs> no. <laughs> May he rest in peace, by the way. If you combo with this with Brown, are you consistently dealing six? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, First impressions, uh, I feel like looking at the card, people might be like, oh my God, like this is super good. Uh, I mean, it, yeah, listen, it's a, it's a triple blood card. It, it, is, it is obviously good, but... Free damage isn't that much in 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 general. I I think it's it probably. I don't think it's. I don't think it is like the the big powerful card that it's meant to be in 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 blood. It's probably fine if you play it right to, to consistently push that three damage. But I don't think it, it's actually currently achieving what it's like what they intended for it to be. I think you said it right, which is fair, and that just mm. doesn't that doesn't work in Hearthstone anymore. <laughs> mm. Um. So I think that if this had taunt or rush it would probably be really strong but the fact that it does nothing on the board the turn that it's played yeah you're just playing a seven seven like is <sighs> yeah is tough yeah you nailed it i mean it's just too slow pretty mm. weak it's actually stronger to just like discover more value cards than it is to play mm -hmm. this <laughs> our final blood card uh this, um, this card's cracked right mm -hmm. yeah 100 percent. i mean listen people people play uh, the people probably still do play uh what's a uh, mutinous mutanus a bunch it's like a cracked version of that basically that um, deals with you the have, board yeah it deals, deals with the board takes something from the hand could potentially get something from the, the deck that they want to draw as well yeah this yeah. is the yeah this is the real win con <laughs> you either farm aggro or you hope to scam combo with cards like this and this card's just not mm -hmm. that hardly ever matters but you, you mutanus a minion yeah. and you kill a minion in play so the tempo swing is actually bigger than mutanus a lot of the time is there um, is there another before sorry just before we go on is there another blood card i don't know if it's blood maybe it's still maybe it's unholy going forward but is there a, a card that's basically like twisting nether for death knight is it like an eight mana card i could be completely wrong this card hey there he is soul stealer i intended to show that card in here and i didn't so that's why i have it on hand this card destroys all other minions and gains a corpse for each destroyed gains a corpse so you get a corpse yeah. for killing enemy minions instead of just your own deck. is twisted nether even good enough anymore well, this is, this is, but this is twisting nether with a body and a benefit of getting corpses as well so if there's a big board it's it, it seems it seems decent it's expensive i think uh twisting nether by the way definitely not playable. <laughs> the cost <laughs> is a trillion mana. And this card is a, I think you guys pretty much nailed it. It's like, okay. Like, it's no blood boil because it costs like a billion more mana. But, uh, and like a control leader, like a matchup that's playing bigger minions, it's a huge tempo swing. Yeah, for sure. It's Three just like, equals one billion. It's really, the, the more <laughs> cards, like, the more removal costs, the more, like, matchup dependent it is. Like, all right. Well, next is unholy. But before we do that, I have one more surprise. Because of course I do. Yes, I'm gonna show you three cards from the previous expansion, and you're gonna tell me there's gonna be two good cards and one bad card. And you're gonna tell me which is the bad card. Oh, dude, the card in the middle is is nuts. Yeah, it's really good. That's a rogue card, right? That is a rogue mm -hmm. card. Oh, dude, it's that card for sure. Think that, that is disgusting. And that's my. I I think that's my guess, and I don't even think good it's one close. Bad. Two I good think, one bad. I think good mid, good left, bad right is what I'm gonna go for. Yeah, because I mean, <laughs> wild like secret mage will always just be good enough right yeah slam that's down my, three sixes my guess. Mm -hmm. yeah that's 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 a, i feel like the first one is the middle card is is i feel like that card is broken and the left card seems uh it seems really good i can't imagine the right card sees play the right card has seen a uh, healthy dose of play because of cards like lucia and just, uh, just copying just like thief priest but thief priest stuck around the whole expansion but that card did not unfortunately it was so hyped everyone thought it was not stuck around for a while but you are right the uh the one on the right the bad card here let's go cool. i i got kind of excited by the time this video comes out for the Sinstone Graveyard to cost more mana or just be changed in some way. It's That's, <laughs> that card's gross. Mm. That is so uh, good. All right, our last set of cards. Unholy. Yeah. Your first and holy. Light Fang. Three mana, three, three beasts. Battlecry infect all enemy minions. When they die, you summon a two, two zombie with taunt. Ooh. 
Ooh, that's kind of kind of cool. Doesn't seem amazing straight off the bat. One unholy rune. One unholy rune. Yeah. So if you get one card with this, it's good. Like if this did it to like one enemy minion, it could almost almost think about like wanting to run it in like a really weird deck. So if it could hit two or three or four, it seems really good, dude. I guess it doesn't do too much immediately, but it just depends on how good they are at not being behind. But oh my god, even if, if you're behind, it's it's gross. I think this card's I think this card's quite good. I feel like this card sees play in almost all unholy decks i think it's it's i'm gonna say average different answers there i think uh i think banks unfortunately is the one that i would say is wrong this card really? is uh incredibly meh yeah like if you're behind and they got a full board you can play this and it's like theoretically nuts but you have to also then be able to clear their board exactly and if you're like ahead you want to like be going phase interesting so it might see play one day but currently if it sees play at all it's just because you have to play Maybe it's cards. too situational yeah yeah it's a bit rough mm-hmm now that's what I'm talking about. Speaking of uh, swarmy. <laughs> oh, here we go. Wow. Have fun evaluating this card without knowing what an earth is an undead. <laughs> I can't imagine you can run this in a deck very often. I feel like this is one of those cards that like you discover and you're yeah. pog up. Immediately, I feel like this yeah. It's so hard to run in a deck. Nine, nine, nine mana. Ugh. Yeah, but uh, you're you're about right. It's like you never play; you only discover it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. This is a fun, I'm sure it's like a really oh, cool card to discover fun, and play. Yeah. You're like, yeah. whatever, man. We got we need board. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Okay, you actually you told me about this card when we were recording together. Is that an undead card? The card that that oh, and I don't want to spoil. Like, we could just wait for it if it comes out. Isn't there a card that like kills you in three turns? <laughs> it is a, it is an undead card. Yes. No. <laughs> you can randomly discover that off of this. It's really it's called the bone lowered incident it's uh pretty <laughs> oh i think i've seen this card yeah <laughs> All right. All right, we can move on. There you go. That's awesome. We'll take a pit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There is Bone Lord. <laughs> yeah. So you could randomly summon zone. a Bone Lord and be in the Bone Zone and be in a rough spot. Yeah. Be in the Bone Zone. <laughs> the Bone Zone. What do you guys think what this I card's mean? good? I think about this do one. I think, I think this card's, card's good. good. No shot, dude. I mean, I, mean, I think that's a, meme, that's a meme card. It's a meme card. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this wow. is a meme card for sure. What is the odd Death Knight? Is it a 2-2 two -two or is it mm. two one ones? Yo, Big, that's uh, a great question. It's neither. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yes. What we all it? thought that. We we're all asking, like, is it going to be two one ones or a two two? It's a two one. <laughs> oh, that's lame, dude. What? I guess it doesn't. It, it really doesn't actually doesn't matter. Does though, matter. Right? It's actually probably better as a two one than a two two. I guess. I guess getting double corpses is. Yeah, kind of that's yeah, that is, it is really there. good. Yeah. Of that. Theoretically, you know, you, you get cards like this printed, and maybe that is a problem. Have a look. Every class needs an eight eight that can get reduced, right? I'm gonna just say solid, yeah, solid, solid card. What you spent? Spent is the hard part. Spent, yeah. is, spent makes this much worse. Spent makes this way worse. Yeah, the the spent's a problem. Mm. There's theoretically an aggro tokeny deck out there that will abuse it one day. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, this card would be absurdly busted if it uh, was how much corpses you gained this yeah. game mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. of uh, the cards like this guy. Imagine you had this guy and it was corpses you gained this game. <laughs> Holy! Gave four corpses Just for one mana. Play a couple of those, and suddenly your giant costs two mana. Take like four of those in your deck. I imagine this is just running all triple unholy. I don't know if mm. it's a reason to run triple unholy, but I'm gonna guess there's other big payoff cards and there's gotta be another big payoff cards. I feel like you you just this card just seems so efficient. I'm waiting for the big payoff where it's like spend this many corpses, do this insane effect. Mm. What about this card? Very strength. Give. Wow. Give your minions plus one attack. Spend five corpses to give them plus three instead. So this is four amount of bloodlust. Yeah. Mm. That's permanent. <laughs> he thought it was nuts, and then he was like, oh, it's four mana bloodlust. Wait. Yeah, <laughs> I just realized good? it's basically blood <laughs> bloodlust. Yeah. Four mana permanent bloodlust. Wait, I'll take okay. <sighs> here's, my, here's my problem. If you look at this card compared to Arbor Up, mm. like Arbor Up <laughs> on this card, right? You get two, four, threes, and then plus two, plus one on the rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this after reevaluating this, yeah. This awesome. That art looks familiar. Wait, what? Was that art? That ice? I recognize that. This is, the, what is, this that is another uh, Death Knight card. This is like another Lich King, Lich King card. card. Oh, yes. Exactly. That's uh, exactly what it was. Yeah. Is, is that four two mana one? for plus two, two? And this is three mana for plus one. Uh, it was change. four mana plus two, two. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. I do, do Are there a lot of cards that target minions directly, or is it more just like board clearing type cards? I guess there's a lot of like pingy, like deep, like mid sized spells, like yeah. three or four damage spells that like pick stuff off. And this seems hard to play. I mean, I've yeah. shown you uh, Blood Boil and. <laughs> 
It's soul stealer. Mm. So uh, yeah, so yeah, you you've correctly identified four minute bloodlust is the payoff you want to try to get to win the game with, but uh, not actually that nutty because as we know, as every nutty board spammy stuff there is, there's also nutty board clears like the files mm. of the world, right? So and you also have this one final card, but you correctly identified those two cards. They're kind of just really hard to play. <laughs> well, yeah. uh, what about this card? Is this payoff worth? Oh, I, I, all I know about this card is I've seen on Twitter that people are giving out about how like the really special version of it looks. Is that correct? Mm. There's like some like crazy like animated version of this card and it like looks bad or something like that is all i've, is all I've heard we'll is this that. a diamond card we'll no it's not diamond it's we'll like it's it. like okay 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 <laughs> i'm curious okay so that. you spent all your corpses so this is where you dump all the corpses that you gain so i'm sure that there's games with you know a bunch of reborn swarmy stuff where you just get like dozens of corpses right this raises raises, raises all the corpses that died right when a minion dies you get a corpse or if you play yeah. a spell that gives you a corpse. um th them having rush i think is important oh, for sure. i think them having rush is really good because you look at things like um it's kind of reminds me of anixia i was about to say anixia yeah very similar very similar card it definitely reminds me of anixia as like one of those just big make a bunch of stuff and have all of your stuff be able to fight your opponent's stuff um i think that this card itself is really good i don't know if it has the it's good enough to make three unholy work at this point that's that's an awesome card though this card that definitely seems like the best card out of the unholy bunch for sure without a doubt i think i've only played this card once and uh my board was on average nine nine for the six minions it summoned <laughs> Ooh. That's awesome. <laughs> so you mentioned though that this card uh, has an, a counterpart. They actually added a new like art style in Hearthstone. So they added diamond cards back in the day. They've added like another version of like they're calling signature cards, which is like just another cosmetic way of cards. So this is that same card just in its signature form. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the card belongs in a different game, man. Like that's not a Hearthstone card. It's just not. I mean, the, the cool thing I like, I, I do kind of like the the idea of like around the text, right? You can see like more of the art. That's a cool idea. What are they doing? Man? What is this? <laughs> It looks like a freaking uh, like a Paper Mario boss like the, <laughs> from like Thousand Year Door. Like the the the, it just it looks it, uh, weird and like cartoonish. They look like such different cards, don't they? Like they just like like look like polar opposite. I would I wouldn't even like compare them at all. You know, yeah, what it's mean? like a different game. It looks like a Mercenaries. Like it's a different game yeah. mode. It's like a card for for a different game mode within the game. I mean, you've said basically what everybody else is saying. The border's like way too big. There's like lack of colors. Disappointing. We can go each game mode, standard, wild, arena. How good do you think Death Knight is? Do you think there are busted Death Knight decks? Do you think they all suck? What are your what are your thoughts? Standard it I mean it's it's also hard to judge because I haven't seen like the other mm -hmm. cards yeah, from the other classes, big, right? So I don't know like oh what class is actually like actually busted if aggro's insane, if if control is insane. Because obviously blood just counters aggro so well. Um so if there's any aggro deck in standard, yeah, blood death knight is just gonna be on top. Um so I think it I think it actually does there's always aggro in standard, so I think it does well in standard with the blood archetype. Wild, I think it also does good because there's always gonna be aggro in wild. Uh, and uh, arena, I know you said this being some of these cards in arena just seem absolutely busted, yeah. So I, I would say say in standard um they might find like one tier two deck and maybe a, a couple like tier three decks in wild probably no like tier two type decks and then in arena yeah i think that there's just enough individual high power level cards that it's probably one of the best best uh best classes in arena agreed for sure mm -hmm. you're both partially right uh much like how i expect there to be nerfs to some of the cards we've talked about i expect a lot of these cards to have changed in the buff direction by the time this video comes out currently out of the 11 classes in standard death Knight ranks at number 10. It is unplayably Whoa, terrible. What? In Wild, Death Knight's actually a little bit better. It ranks Interesting. 8. Interesting. It ranks 8. The reason it's better is because you've got like the Rhinothal Reno decks mm -hmm. um, and you can put like Dirty Rat and Mutanus and just tech cards to have a chance mm -hmm. to win. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, it, but it's 8. I mean, it's not very good. This now we're going to move on to, uh, to Arena. So you know like the HS replays got like those things that show like the win rates of like globally. They're like not totally accurate, but they're like pretty close. General idea. Mm -hmm. It's got like the colors for like 50%. It's like mm -hmm. middle green and then below that's yellow red whatever the 11th class in arena is warrior with a 31 percent win range <laughs> if we jump wow. a few if we jump a few we go to the third the third best arena class is warlock with a 45 percent win rate 
The second best, which jumped so many percentages that it would be tier <laughs> S, is Paladin at 51%. It jumped what 6% above the next. Death Knight is the best class in Arena with a win rate of 62%. <laughs> <laughs> what Dude, It is the only cool. class besides Paladin that can kind of win. Death Knight is the only thing that wins other than sometimes Paladin. <laughs> Dude, you get like, two, you face two Frost and Furies it's and you're just busted at Arena, bro. It's back. absurd. All the cards are just good on their own, but the problem with like standard and wild is there's no real like win cons the win cons aren't strong enough they don't like end mm -hmm. the game like you get a big stat pile you like get like deal three damage and you have to live a bunch of turns like the frost room's free but they're not really win cons right like the payoffs aren't like win the game you know